You know, I'm really proud of this video because I think it speaks volume about who we are in Montgomery County, where we don't shy away from having courageous conversations about things that we need to address and improve. Um, I don't see this as, you know, something that we need to shy away from or sweep under the rug. I think that that speaks volumes for the level of sophistication of our young people and also the leadership in Montgomery County Public Schools. Um, so that's why, for me, this was a, a very touching video. And I think even though it was produced uh, in 2015, uh, you know, since then we have um, really witnessed, I think, a lot of um, incidents where it has been even more of a... Um, emphasis, at least for me, that we need to have more and more conversations about these tough uh, issues and then look for constructive uh, solutions. So I really do applaud these amazing young people, uh, Montgomery County products, whereas in an effort to create solidarity and highlight a thread of shared experiences, several minority students at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School have released a video entitled I2MBCC. And whereas the purpose of the campaign was to expose the harm of racial stereotypes in high school and to bring awareness to this issue, and whereas... I, too, am BCC, social camping inspired by I, too, am Harvard, attempts to give voice to those who suffer from false perceptions. And whereas since the video's release, teachers and students at BCC have used it as a tool to discuss racism and harmful perceptions of minorities and whereas I2 Am BCC was produced and directed by two former BC, BCCers. <laughs> I won't say this name right. Say it again for me. Makdez Hailu, thank you. Producer and Orlando Pinter, director, cinematographer, and editor, as well as Abigail Brithwaith and Yannick Alexis, and now. And now, therefore be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby recognizes the exceptional work of Magdes Hailu, Orlando Pinder, Abigail Britwati, and Yannick Alexis in helping to break down barriers and highlight the experience of minority students at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School, presented on this 20th day of June in the year 2017, signed by our Council President Roger Berliner, and I must say that this video did go viral. I think it had over, what, 37,000 or maybe more views, so it's out there, and um, so congratulations. So, thank you all so much for inviting us here for this incredible honor, and special thank you to Councilwoman Navarro and Sonia Healy for organizing all this. Um, got a few things ran down. Um, so we are, to this day, amazed at the impact that this video has had in this county. Um, but unfortunately, the achievement gap is still alive and well. Um, it didn't do anything to solve it, though it did bring awareness to the issues that we face here. Um, black and brown kids are still underperforming against their white counterparts in this county. Black and brown kids are still being stereotyped and discriminated against in our schools. And so in that spirit, I ask that you all don't forget that these injustices exist and that you honor this video by doing what you can to fix these systematic inequalities um, that speak to the greater problems that this country holds. And I commend everyone in this room for their public service and I ask that you all remember and acknowledge the diversity and beauty in all your constituents. Thank you. This is my first time watching the video, I think since high school, actually. And it hit me like as if it was my first time watching the video ever. And my sisters are actually going to be seniors at BCC now. And they tell me, you know, whenever I come home from school, they always tell me what's going on. And I, it seems like not as much has changed as I would have hoped. And I don't, I don't know if um, that's their like responsibility to have changed that because we took initiative and we didn't think the video was going to go viral when we made it. We were just like, hey, we want to make a video. I mean, Orlando loves cinematography, and we were all very involved. And um, it did go viral, and we were very excited about it. But we wanted, we wanted to be able to make a change over a lasting, a lasting period of time. Because I think in our year, in 2015, that was kind of like the closest BCC has ever been, at least while I was there in recent memory. But the video doesn't mean anything unless it has a lasting impact. So that's kind of our hope for that. And then going to college, the achievement gap is still there. And I go, I go to University of Maryland, 
And I don't know if you guys heard about the murder that just happened there, like I think it was a couple weeks ago, a month ago. And that murder was right outside my building on a bus stop that I take like every day. And if I happened to want to go out that night to Route 1 to get some food or happened to be catching that bus to go to my friend's dorm, I wouldn't be standing here today, maybe. And so looking at that video from high school made me realize that I'm probably not doing enough in college to, to keep the fight going. Because the achievement gap doesn't just stop when you graduate. The achievement gap doesn't stop even in college. The achievement gap still exists in the workforce. And it still exists in the income of um, families around the county. So if we could make another video today, it'd probably be a lot longer, <laughs> especially what's going on with what's going on. But I just want everybody to kind of um, think about that. And I'm really grateful f to be here today um, alongside some of my best friends from high school. So uh, thank you. We spent three weeks alongside doing our schoolwork and being in seven classes in high school. Um, going to other classrooms like Eng the English department and the IB department, talking to seniors and freshmen about how they felt after they watched the video and the reactions were completely the same, no matter the age difference. So I know that Yannick also said that it doesn't stop after school ends because it's in the workforce, but I feel like it doesn't start in high school. We have to hit these kids when they're in elementary because I have nieces and nephews who are all Montgomery County students right now um, going to Rock Creek and uh, I have one who's going to start in, uh, at Westland in the fall and they're all very like like me where they're like leaders and they want to be a part of these things and like they hear about all this stuff that I've done and they're like where can I find that and I said it's it I didn't find it anywhere it's like myself thinking about these problems and bringing it to the table and they are also going through the achievement gap and not knowing it because there's times where I feel like my nephew gets labeled um, because because he doesn't like to do certain work problems or doesn't like to do certain activities. And it's things like that that start it. Because once you're labeled in a school system, it continues on. And I feel like videos like this make you realize that maybe you need to take away the labels and start thinking about the curriculum. Because once he was given different work, he stopped not listening. And um, it does help to start. So not even just starting at BCC, there's other high schools like we in Blair who don't have a program that we had at high school called MSP, which is Minority Scholars Program, which we were co-presidents of. And Yannick also played a great part in um, as like a face or an ambassador for it. And everyone who knew of that knew that the video came from people who were also in that club. So that created a connection where more kids came out and realized that there's a community. You just have to be willing to be vulnerable enough. And I feel like with a lot of help from everyone in this room, we can make that something that's a shared space and a comfortable space, not only with black and brown kids, but with all kids, because there are kids of all races who feel the achievement gap based on like poverty and wealth and geographic locations. But I feel like right here in Montgomery County, we do that subtly. And so if we start working on that with elementary students, then we wouldn't have to worry about making I2 and BCC in high school. During my time at BCC, I felt like at times um, when addressing the achievement gap, it was like, all right, so what is MSP going to do? And it's like, you know, like, of course, like we're students, we're leaders, like we're here to make a change and it starts with us. But it shouldn't have been students' responsibilities to fix things that everyone should be concerned about, that the county should be concerned about. So in that spirit, like I ask you guys to take that burden away from the students and help them in that, because it's not their fault that it exists, um, and they shouldn't be dealing with this alone. Thank you so much. And I invite you guys to continue to come and participate, because I know you're all nearby, because we are addressing this issue front and center. And so it is important to have your voice uh, so that the adults are not the only ones doing this. But through our budget process, through our policies, we're being very aggressive. And this helps add that perspective as well. So thank you so much. I'm so glad you're, you're nearby.